Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and guide video. In today's video, I'll show you how you can solve the problem iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes on your iPhone or iPad. So, to solve this problem, you'll need a PC and internet connection. So, turn off your phone, then open any web browser, then go to this link which is 3u.com and if you don't want to type that in, the link is in the description, you can open it from there as well. And once you're in this link, click download and the download will start. And once it's downloaded, open it and install it. And once it's installed, launch the program. Now, connect your phone to your PC while pressing the home button using a USB cable. Keep on pressing the home button until it says device connected. Now, select your firmware and click download. It will take quite a time depending upon your internet connection, so keep patience and wait until it's downloaded. And now, once the file is downloaded, your device will switch off and also disconnect from your PC. So now, you will again have to connect your phone to your PC and to do that, First of all, disconnect the USB cable and now you will notice that your phone will turn on. So once again, turn your phone off. And once your phone is completely turned off, repeat the process I mentioned earlier which is Connect the USB cable to your PC while pressing the home button until it says device connected. And now you'll have to flash your device. So click on the flash option and the flash should start. Now, once the flash is completed, your device will turn on automatically, so wait until the device is turned on. And now, start setting up your device. Now, you can connect your phone to a Mac or to a PC with iTunes and enter your iCloud account over there or you could also register manually from your mobile device. So, that is it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information and helpful videos like these.